Another thing, I wouldn't say that I'm scared of the dark, but I don't like to be in the dark when I'm alone, guys. Like, I really don't because I've, ha I've had experiences where something was right here on my face, you know what I mean? What's good, beloveds? It's your boy Zay back with another bah, bah, brand new banger for y'all. This is the life of Zay. Thank you for clicking on that channel. Check it out. Look around. If you're new here, see if there's something for you. If there ain't good rings to you, but if there is, what I need y'all to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn the bell on so you know when I drop these bangers. Uh, we're sitting at, I think, around 2K. Give me a second, guys. Let's check. I gotta tell y'all, man, because I'm always proud of this. We're sitting at 2,003 subs, guys. If you're already part of the family, hey, man, I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. I love y'all. We're about to do a giveaway. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but uh, we're going to do it. So I ain't been on in a few days, guys. I had to take care of some stuff that's really been emotionally draining me. Uh, nonetheless, I got it taken care of, and, um, yeah, we're going to get back to it, guys. I, I started to vlog the other day. I took a trip to Albuquerque, but I stopped. I didn't finish it. But anyway, we're going to get back to it anyway. Um, Saturday night, guys. It's crazy y'all know with us because y'all know that should be crazy, y'all. But it's normal life to us, and it's Halloween. So we're going to do something a little creepy. Um, I think what I'm going to call this one is... I don't know what we're going to call it yet, guys. We'll come up with a name with it. I want to kind of explain to you guys, just, you know, due to the fact that it's Halloween, I want to kind of explain how Satan attacks me, um, my constant battle with Satan, um, something I want to share with y'all guys is that, uh, I, a star just set up for me to see, I'm going to see a pastor on, or a priest or whatever on Thursday, see if they can cast these whatever's and you know, whatever bugs me out guys, because... I'm gonna be real with y'all guys. It's hard to sleep. You know, a lot of these, t a lot of times, I'm tired all day long because I'd rather stay up than to go to sleep. That's how bad it is. Like, you know, and I don't. I'm not embarrassed to say it. I used to be embarrassed to say it, but now I'm. Uh, I rather, I'd rather stay awake than to go to sleep. And and another thing, I wouldn't say that I'm scared of the dark, but I don't like to be in the dark when I'm alone, guys. Like I really don't because I've had I've had experiences where something was right here on my face. You know what I mean? And it's just like. I don't like it, you know what I mean. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a couple stories with y'all guys. So one of these stories stems back to when I was a little kid. Okay, um, it was late, guys. I just got. I was with my cousin. I'm not gonna say his name. I was with my cousin though. They, we were walking from a dance. We just got out of dance. It was probably about 1:30 in the morning. Okay, in Roswell they got train tracks. They have train tracks, right? Um. The train tracks lead all the way through the city. They lead to the east side. And it's kind of like a shortcut, but also it keeps you off of uh, the main road. You know, if the cops will see you, you're breaking curfew, they're going to swoop you. You know what I mean? So, me and my cousin are walking. Um, we, we got in a little argument, so he's a little bit ahead of me. We're going to my house, though. You stay the night at my house. So, we're walking home, right? We're far, guys. And then... Uh, you know, we're arguing, the train tracks are just dark. But see, when you're walking on the train tracks, you can hear something that sounds like, uh, almost like electricity. I think it is electricity, almost like electricity, but it sounds like maybe like two things, like wires, you know what I mean? Like rubbing together or something. But, uh, so we're mobbing, you know, we get closer to the house. And, um, we, we're on the train tracks. So we're walking Then there we see this person Like uh, walking Past us Like I said My cousin's behind me Not in front of me He's like probably 15-20 feet behind me Back there you know So we're walking We can see we're, We live in a cul-de-sac right We can see the cul-de-sac um, Already you know It's just right there It's it's pretty close This There's this person walking Towards us guys Okay There's this person walking Towards us And I'm like You know whatever We got a knife You know we're straight We're badasses Whatever we thought we were So uh Keep walking right And this person's walking On the tracks guys I get a little bit closer To this person And uh I notice that they're real big guys They're big And I'm like Okay Um You know it's just, If they If they try something 
we're gonna go in on him. So as this person starts getting us, it's almost the time where we'll turn off of the tracks, you know, to get into our cul-de-sac or whatever. She gives me chills, and uh, he's getting ready to pass us, guys, and I and I just get this sense, something just comes over me, this sense of just ugly feeling, and I'm like, why am I feeling this? You know what I mean? I don't understand it. So this person, this person walks um, past us. And, and and I swear on my mom, guys, I'm not lying. You know, God's my witness. When he when he started getting closer to me, maybe like 30 feet away from me, it was freezing cold, guys. It got so cold, like the wind. It was really cold. So boom, he starts to pass me. Then right before he passes me, he says, "Buenos Buenos noches." You know, like like it's it's really cold, you know. And uh, Buenos noches, you know, like good night. That's what. It, in English, it means good night. So, passing by, buenos noches. But when he says that, I look up and he looks up and I can't see his face because it's too dark. And it was freezing cold, right? Boom. Passes by me. I turn around to look to make sure my cousin's good and there's nobody there. There's nobody walking. And uh, instantly, right after that, instantly, guys, I knew something was wrong. I knew something's wrong. I told my cousin, we gotta go, something's wrong, we gotta run. And uh, he's like, why, you know? I said, did you see that person walking? He's like, yeah, I seen them. Uh, he, he didn't pay attention to them. I wasn't drunk, I wasn't on any drugs, I was a little kid, you know? He seen them also, but he didn't pay attention to me. He didn't have a face, guys, so boom, we start running. And uh, like I said, she gives me the chills, guys. It's crazy, boom, hit the cut. We turn like that to the cul-de-sac. There's somebody laying in the street in the cul-de-sac. And uh, I do a whistle that we had to let them know that we're on the block. We start walking closer, and um, and we start getting closer to this person. And it was my brother; he had been shot. Right away, I start yelling. You know, he was already dead, but uh, he he got he came back to life. He came back to life, and uh, the ambulance or whatever brought him back. You know, but. Well, you know, I don't, I, I can't explain it, but to this day, I think that, uh, that that was death, you know, that that was the Grand Reaper that walked past us and said that, but God's my, like, God's my witness, you know, right, right next to me, Buenos Noches, that's it, and the feeling that we got was just, it was just uneasy, you know, like, it wasn't, it wasn't a feeling as, as a friendly greed, you know, it was somebody telling me good night, like, I, like, they just took someone's life, you know, or whatever, whatever the case was. And uh, like I said, he died right there, and I don't know why they why he came back or whatever. You know, that's between him and God. But that's that's one of the experiences that I had. You know, um, I always tell you guys that I can't sleep. I want to explain to y'all a little bit how how it is. These aren't dreams, guys. Like like where I'm falling. These aren't dreams where I see this big thirty foot monster, or these ain't dreams where I'm in in Hollywood getting chased down the strip by a monster. It's not like that, guys. These are dreams of my own home. It don't matter where I'm at. Anywhere I'm at, these are dreams. And the scary part about it is I know that I'm asleep. Like, it's like an out-of-body experience, guys. And every time, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I always have a Bible somewhere, guys. And I know where that Bible is. And before I go to sleep, since I was since I was a little kid, guys, since I was 12-year-old in juvenile prison, 13-year-old, I always had a Bible somewhere. I always had, well, since I started believing in God, I always had a Bible somewhere. And every time before I go to sleep, I remember where that Bible is and how I'm going to get there. And I, I set a plan. I'm going to go out this door. I'm going to cut this way. I'm going to get the Bible. You know, I always set a plan. I don't know why I don't just sleep with it. But uh, I, I will sometimes, guys. I have woke up with the Bible in the bed. But uh, I always set a plan, guys, because I, I, I know these I know these dreams are so vivid. I know they're so real. I know they're so incredibly awful. You know, like the feeling that I get. So uh, it's always in the house, you know. Um, the main goal in these in these dreams every time is that I gotta get to. Uh, I, I don't gotta explain why I have the dreams, you know. What's understood, don't need to be explained, you know. People don't get that you have nightmares from things you do in your life, or from things you see. You know, PTSD ain't the only thing that happens, guys. I'm nervous talking about this. 
it's not just PTSD. It's not just anxiety about the things, you know, it's not that, guys. You really get attacked by an entity, guys, guys from the other world, an entity that's evil, whatever it is. So an entity in the spirit world, guys, is a something that's evil, you know. That, that's what I that's what I got from it, you know. But something that's evil, it's something that floats around, whatever. So there's a it's more than that you know there's these spiritual spiritual entities that are evil that know that they know what i've done you know they've known what took place and they know that i i guess it's like a fight to have me you know they want me to work be with them whatever it is i don't know guys i don't know i've never gotten that far in dreams i always wake up or something i always wake up for sure but so these dreams start out as me laying down guys and um uh, it's like a simple noise that I hear that sets it off, you know, like a noise, like, mm, like loud. And these been since I was a little kid, guys. And one of the worst things, one of the worst things that I've ever experienced. Look, guys, I have severe PTSD. I have severe claustrophobia. I have anxiety. You know, I have these things because because of this life that I live. You know, I've been diagnosed with these things, but the life that I live. It wasn't always, you know, it wasn't always my life, guys. It was things that I went through mentally, you know. Like, mental health is so important. Let me tell you, like, mental health is one of the most important things because people don't understand the effect that it has on us, you know, or the or the damage that can be done with something so simple, guys. So, uh, you know, those are my issues that I deal with day to day, guys. Every night that I go to sleep, I have to deal with these, you know. And that's why I'm tired a lot of the time because I'd rather stay awake than to deal with those. I'd rather watch my kids sleep and i'd rather watch star sleep and know for a fact that they're safe because i could i don't need a gun for this guys this isn't a battle you can fight with the gun this is a battle that i have to fight with god that's the only way that i can fight this battle and for a lot of years i didn't have that guys like i lost the battle every night and it's like a it's like a new war every night guys you know what i mean and, and I'm, I'm serious you know that's how it is and uh oh i gotta protect star and the kids you know that's why i'd rather stay awake and i'm always sleepy it's crazy but <clears throat> but uh so i hear this noise guys you know oh but i was telling y'all something that will cause ptsd one in one of the worst ways that i've ever felt it in my life guys and, and it makes me sick to even think about it is having one of these attacks where you're locked in a, in, a, in a 10 by 10 cell it's one of the worst things i've, I've experienced guys my claustrophobia is so bad that i can't even I can't even ride on slides, you know? That's how bad it is. I can't even get on slides, guys. I can't do any of that because my claustrophobia is so bad because of this. Because because I've had these attacks in jail where I can't get up. I can't do nothing. I can't scream, guys. These people are watching. I can't do anything but know that I'm in that room stuck with this entity that's in there. With this demon, whatever it is that's in there, I'm stuck in there, guys. I, I can't go nowhere. <laughs> and let me tell you, it ain't easy, guys. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But that's something that I signed myself up for. That's something that I did. Nobody, nobody gave me these. I, I brought, I gave it to myself, knowing that this is what happens. I gave it to myself. You know, the nightmares you see after you do certain things. It just, you know, it's crazy, guys. But uh, so let me tell you how it starts. So it starts with this noise, guys, and, and I already know. But see, understand this, guys. That this whole time that this is happening, I'm laying down. This is all in the spiritual world. Like I know I'm out of my body. I'm me, I'm in the same clothes, I'm in the same house, I can see myself sleeping, but it's like I get up, you know, but I don't, I'm laying down really, but but in the in the dream, I'm up, so, but it's in my bed, my kids are there, I'm up, you know, so check it out, so I hear this noise, guys, all the time, and as soon as I hear that noise, like, I know I gotta get up, and I know that the battle's on, you know, so I start for the Bible, and the Bible can be on the dresser away from me, but that dresser is going to be miles away from me, guys. Like, that's how that's how hard it is, you know? So I, that's that's always my main goal. I got to get to the Bible, and I got to go through these things, guys, that aren't fun. Like, I got to get chased. Like, it's it's horrible. Like, I, I can remember times of getting chased, you know, by these huge demons, and I can just hear them running, like, behind me, and they're so close that I can feel the flames behind my back, you know? And it, it's... I don't know it's just you know they they I think they want my soul you know or I don't know what I have inside of me or whatever but like I said I'm going Thursday to this Thursday or this week to meet a, a pastor that actually led me to God 
I'm going to meet him and we're going to cast this out or whatever it is. And because I'm ready to be free, guys, whatever I did in my life when I was younger, that's not me no more. You know, that's not me. That's not how I live my life. That's not how I conduct myself. That's not how I want to live my life. Nothing like that. You know, I'm, I'm so regretful for any mistake I ever made, any person I ever hurt in my life. And I'm ready to move forward, guys. I'm ready to move past this. So that's what I got to do. I have to go get this done. And I'm scared to go, guys, because I don't want to talk weird. I don't want to have a demon coming out of me if there's one. But I'm ready to let it go, guys. I'm ready to let it go. I want to be able to bless my house and know that my kids don't have these dreams. And they never will, you know. And, and it sucks sometimes. But uh, anyways, I'm running, you know. I'm, there's always a chase during this. There's always there's always so much just drama, guys, that it's just it's so uncomfortable, you know, to even talk about like it's just real, guys. It seems so vivid. Like I can feel the pain when I hurt myself when I fall or something. Like it's really vivid, guys. And uh, the crazy part about all this is that every time it never fails, I get into the room where the Bible's at, and Satan's in there. And it's the most peace I ever felt from the whole dream my whole life. Every time, it feels like the most peaceful thing. And I'm in his presence. And I've had someone tell me before, it's because you find comfort in the darkness. It's because you find comfort in all that all that chaos and that bad stuff. You find your comfort there. And that's what he tells me too. Or she, I don't know if the devils are here or she, guys. But every time that the dream's coming to an end, guys, and I'm right there looking at the Bible and I'm about to grab it every time. I promise you, I get told by Satan, you can go or you can stay. Like, you're free to go. Like, look at, like, every time, guys, like, it never fails. Even, even, even whatever this is doing this, whatever it is that's causing all this stuff to happen to me, whether it's Satan or whatever, it always tells me, you feel how peaceful it is? You find your peace in the dark. That's where you find your peace in complete black, complete cold black the ugliest you know that's where you find your peace and it's not supposed to be like that guys but i could tell y'all you know i'm mad enough to tell you honestly that is guys i find my peace in in the worst places because i've i've had to learn to do that because of how my life was you know but every time he tells me if you want to go you can go but just know you always have a home here with me and i've never like i said i've never chosen to go i've always chosen to pick the bible up I've always chose to hold the Bible close. I've always chose to cast them out because the only way I can cast them out is I have that Bible in my hand. You know, in Jesus' name, you got no authority here. I always cast them down, guys, and he'll turn around and leave, and I'll wake up. I'll be fine. The kids are fine. Doors are locked. The house is okay. Everything's perfectly fine, and then I can sleep, but I got to get through that, and it takes a long time, guys, and this happens probably almost every, every day, you know, almost every day of the week, you know, and uh, like I said, it's making me nervous just talking about it, guys, but that... That's something that I live with. These nightmares are so surreal, you know, and, and so just not not uncommon at all no more. It's just something that I have to deal with, you know, and I'm ready for it to stop, guys. That's why I'm going this Thursday to get this done because I'm ready for this to stop. I want to sleep a comfortable night, you know. I want to go to sleep without having to worry about where the Bible is. I want to go to sleep without having to worry if something's going to happen to my children, you know. I'm, I'm just ready to let go of all that, guys. Like, that's one of the things that I long for in my life is just to be able to let go of all the bad you know and i'm ready to do that guys but uh that's my dreams that's the dreams that i have and, and like i said it's constant struggle i deal with it every night almost and it's just no fun you know um i told y'all the last one i just want y'all to think about these actions before you do them because stuff will haunt you stuff will follow you that's not just a saying that's not something people say to scare you that's not something that you know anybody that's not gonna act like a badass i'm not gonna act like a badass you know why because I want to help somebody. I want to show it for what it is. Trust me, I've been there. I've hurt people. I've done I've done stuff that I'm not, you know, that I regret. You know, I've done that, guys. And it's it's ugly. And it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Um I want to let go of all that. If you if you're if you have the same thing if you deal with nightmares like that and um you know reach out to your local church man you gotta let go of that you gotta let go to get to see what god wants to offer you because it's not fair to live okay life and, and have god in the daytime but not when you're asleep to have god protect you you know and that's what i want guys and i think that's what y'all should go after too if you're having these nightmares 
just know that you're not alone in this world that people do have those nightmares because of whatever might have took place in their life you know and and stuff will haunt you guys let me tell you all that think about your actions before you hurt somebody because stuff will haunt you and it's not no fun I don't need to be a badass. I don't need to act like I'm this cool guy because no, guys, that that stuff really haunts me, you know, and it'll haunt you too. So just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. Just keep praying, God. Keep God at your center. Just just hope for the best, you know. If if you're going through this too, and like I said, reach out to your church, guys. But uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to share that with y'all because it's Halloween. That's a little creepy to me. Um, I had fun today. We did a little bit of. We went to a trunk retreat. We were supposed to have our, our, our own trunk done. We didn't have time to do it, guys. We had some things going on. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, like I said, I love y'all. I hope y'all are all doing good. I hope y'all stayed safe today. Don't forget to check your kids' candy. If you didn't go to a church, make sure you check your kids' candy, guys. Be smart. Um, today's Saturday, so we're going to continue to get this schedule going. Like I said, I had a couple things going on. But anyway, I love y'all, man. I just wanted to share y'all that. Um you know keep god at your center guys it's crazy on normal to us because that should be crazy y'all but it's normal life to us i love y'all i'm zay i'm gonna catch you on the next one i'm out